right, so we're gonna use our chair for stretching. We're gonna use it for our triceps. So super sturdy chair, if it is not sturdy or you feel a question, uh, get another chair, go get a dining room chair, something really sturdy. Again, if you don't feel it's super sturdy, put it against the wall so you have at least that safety. Safety is really important. So hopefully the sides are open on your chair because then you can use it. I'm gonna go into my tricep dip. So I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna bend my legs at a right end. I'm gonna hold on to the side and I'm gonna, um, the side or the front. Uh, my front's a little narrow here, so I'm gonna go to the side. I'm gonna roll the head of my shoulder back. All right, so right now my chest is lifted. I'm engaged. If I did nothing else, this would be a great exercise to lift my chest without popping that rib cage open. So I need that connection here. My hands are here and I'm just gonna slide my hips off. All right, I'm not here. My hips are as close to that chair with, you know, so I don't hurt myself. Obviously I can move. My elbows are gonna go back and I'm gonna lower and lift. So a lot of women ask me about my triceps. How can I fix the back of my arms? This is your exercise. Now, if you can't do a dip for whatever reason, just hold yourself here. Lift yourself up and hold for two or three seconds and then put yourself back down. But if you can, lower, lift, hold. Lower, really contracted, slow movement, breathe. Okay, watch that shoulder. Don't let it go forward, keep it back. One more and sit. So if you're brand new to this, do three or four. Your, your wrists are not used to it, your shoulders aren't used to it. That's fine, because I'm telling you, if you do two or three, you'll end up doing six later, and eight, and 10, and 15, and 20, whatever you want. In order to make this muscle stronger, what's the answer? You have to use it. That's the answer to everything. Anything you want to change, okay, you have to do things slightly differently. So if you've never worked that muscle before, let's start working it. All right, so now we're going to go a little bit faster. Shoulders rolling back and down, take the hips off, and it's press. Two, three, four, that's it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold. If that's easy for you, you can go way past 10, 20, 25, whatever. And now I'm gonna do the final set, which is that mid-range, not all the way up, not all the way down, I'm gonna knock out 30. Here we go. Shoulders rolling back, hips off, and it's one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oh, that feels so good. You can always do more than that. I'm telling you, challenge your body. Let's go into a stretch, take that arm across, shoulder down. Ooh, that feels good. Arm up, bend the elbow, and take a stretch back. Pat yourself on the back for the work well done. Other side, come across, shoulder down, because if you don't pat yourself on the back, who else is, right? People don't normally do that, but you can pat yourself on the back. Absolutely. Job well done, triceps working. Throw it in any part of your day, and I promise you, your body will thank you.